You guys, I just made my vowel dress. Yeah. Hi, it's your friend Glory. If you're new here, welcome. I have passion for making clothes. I'm an upcoming content creator. Please bear with me. I'm still trying to get used to the process. So I finally made a bust your dress and I really enjoyed the process. I want to show you how I made it. Please subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead into the tutorial. So here are the tools needed. And the measurements needed. I'll be going ahead to create a starting line. Once that is ruled out, I'll be taking the measurements. So I'll be taking the neck width and the neck depth, but of course won't be using that. This is just to create the pattern. So after that is done, I will be taking the shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. I'll be going down by one inch for the shoulder slope, and I'll also be taking the measurement of my MO, which is seven inches, and I'll connect the points together. So I'm going ahead to take my bust measurement, which is 9.5 inches, and my under bust 12.5, and the full length is 16 inches. And I'll just be marking the point accordingly and ruling it out. So I'm just labeling the lines and at the ammo side I'll just be dividing it into two and mark the points there. Once that is done, I'll be going in by half inch. And I'm going to use the curve row to connect the point to the ammo line. So at the bust point, I'll just be marking my bust span, which is three three quarter inches. And I'm just going to mark that at the waistline as well and roll out. So now from the shoulder, I'm just going to be dividing the shoulder into two and i'm just going to make the point and connect that to the bust point so i'll just be going down by one inch just for a bust ease and i'm just going to be going in by half inch at the center front side it's actually meant to be two inch for the cup so for a bigger person, you can actually use two and a half inch, but I'll just be going there by half inch. And at the other point, I'll be going by 1.5 inches. So like so, I'll just be marking the points and then I'm just going to connect the points. So I'm just going to draw a curve there and with the use of a curved roll, you can actually use freehand for it. So just ensure that you cover it properly. So like I have done, I'm just curving it like so. And that is it. So now the next thing now is I'll be going up by 3 inches. So that is where I want my bustier to start. 
so i've gone up by three inches and i just want to connect those points so that i'm going to put it that there this is just for bust tightening so i'm just going to mark one inch facing the center front and three quarter inch facing the side side front so i'm just going to connect that line to the bust point line so ensure you connect it like so So now that I've gone ahead to draw the points, I'm just going to, um, you know, just trying to, try to curve that part where it's going to um, connect so that it will look very shapey and curved. And then I'm going to roll out the center front down to the that leg. So I want that part to be very straight. I don't want it to curve, so that's how I want it to be. And from there, I'm just going to connect this side to the arm O line. Before doing that, I'm just going to be marking my bust measurement, which is 8.5 inches. So I'm just going to be adding the that measurement that was there, the that intake we took, which is one inch, which I'll be marking like so. So you need to add the that back. I'll be taking my other bust measurement, which is seven inches. So ensure you always add back all the measurements you've taken for your that. And my waist is 6.5 inches plus remaining 2 inches, which is 8.5 inches. So now you can actually connect those points together. Like so. And once that is connected, I just like to go down by half inch, 0 0.5 inch at that I'm all side so now that i've gone down by 0 0.5 inch i want to connect the bus to the armhole side so i'll be doing that like so so yeah try to curve it like this so while looking at this, I just I realized that I don't like how it looks, so I just want to erase this. I want it to be exactly below the armhole, so I'm just going to be erasing that, and I'm going to draw it back according to my preferred style. So like so i'll just be connecting those points again so as you can see i tried doing this again and yeah i'm sure i'll love it like this now <laughs> so this is how it looks so the next step is just for me to label it so that i can cut it out and here we have it so this is how the front looks like and in my next video i'll show you how to draft the back